It's Tuesday, and it's 8.30 in the morning. Does ever, anyone else have intense trouble being motivated going to class after a long weekend? Because I'm sitting here trying to fight with my brain, telling me that no, actually, I should go to school. Because my head's like, no, no you can just stay home. You don't have to go to school. In fact, from now on, just go to school when you have to. Like, absolutely have to. Class today. It's so gloomy outside. And when it's gloomy outside, I don't ever want to go anywhere. I better get used to it though, because the winter's coming. Winter's coming. Okay, so I am on my way to school. It's the same day. I feel like I need to start mentioning, like, hey, it's the same day, because sometimes I look like shit and then I look okay, and then it's like, is that two different days or not? Things that matter in my mind, apparently. So I just kind of wanted to talk because I've been thinking. Most of the time that I share my feelings on these vlogs, it's always like, oh, I'm so stressed, or oh, I've been having anxiety, or oh, my life is so hard. And it is, like, my issues are valid. But <laughs> I've been just having a really good couple of weeks. Like, I've been feeling really good. I've gotten some marks back on my midterms, and so far on all of them, I've been doing really well. And I'm just really happy with how my life is right now like I'm having a good social life hanging out with a bunch of different people and I don't know I feel really fulfilled which is nice like I feel fulfilled on a lot of levels I feel like I've got you know all the material things I need I feel like I've got all the people needs that I wanted fulfilled right now like I just feel really good and it's a nice feeling, you know, because there's always something else that you want a lot of the times. But like, I feel like it's moments like this where you just kind of have to appreciate what you have and kind of revel in your happiness a little bit. But yeah, that's just my little happy vlog thing. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know how your week has gone so far. Are you happy? And if not, okay, what's one thing that you could do to kind of, I guess, improve? your state of mind or improve your happiness because you know there's always things that you know you can do right like oh I can uh, get that toxic person out of my life or I can put more effort into my friendships or you know I can actually hold on to plans because I'm really bad at that too like if I'm stressed or if I'm just like in a bad place I cancel plans a lot because I just like I don't know for some reason I kind of want to self-destruct and I'm just like, well, I'm already in a shitty place and seeing people that would make me happy would make me happy, but that would take me out of my shitty place, so we can't have that. So, yeah, that's just be happy and do something to make yourself happy because you deserve to be happy. And I've said happy 15,000 times in this vlog segment. It's going really well. So I don't really have much else to say. I have finished the Game of Thrones uh, book two audiobook, and I've gotten the third, fourth, and fifth one off of Audible. I'm not sponsored. I just, I honestly buy my subscription and I love it. Um, I, I haven't even been reached out to you, but hey, if you want to sponsor me, I'd totally be down for that. I don't know what that is. Um, that's my version of a gray space. It's like hit yourself in the face, face. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I finished that one and oh my God, it's so good. It's so interesting to see how it compares to the, um, the show because there's so many parts where it's so different. Um, and then there's so many parts where it's completely exactly the same, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? Also, I finished the Mindy Kaling, Kaling, Mindy Kaling audiobook. Is everyone hanging out without me, which I really like. And now I'm going to do a Chelsea Handler audiobook. I feel like you kind of need to break up the time between the Game of Thrones books because that one was like 37 hours. The next one is something like 44 hours. So it takes me like two to three months to finish. But then these like comedic audiobooks take like two days, three days of just like driving every day because they're like four hours long, right? That's really depressing to figure out that I drive for like four hours in maybe a week, but then also like walking to class so I can finish like a four hour audiobook in like a week. But yeah, that's, that's it. I finished those books and I really like them and I totally recommend the Game of Thrones ones. So I try to live by this whole thing where it's like, you're not gonna ever regret going to school, but you might regret not going to school. So today, um, I went for the sole purpose because we were supposed to have a movie day and movies are testable and they're one of the only things that I can't do at home. So I went to watch this movie. Turns out it's a fucking YouTube video. Turns out we only watch half of it because she doesn't know how to work a YouTube video. And I fell asleep for the first time ever in class. I woke up like three minutes later, but I did the whole like, oh, Jesus, and I, like it was just, it was horrible and I don't want to do that again. But. Then I was gonna go to my other class, and then I was like, no, I really need to go have a nap, and 
Then I was like, oh, I really regret going to school. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> just repeat yourself 15 times. And then I thought like, I keep saying like, you should go get some Olive Garden so you don't regret going to class. And this is the second time in a five day span that I've had Olive Garden. So I'm doing really well. Um, I took the stairs though, so you know it's pretty much like zero calories, right? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home and film my empties videos because I'm actually more awake now that I'm out of that fucking class. And I'm gonna see if I have any mail, and if I do, I'll do some videos because I have to edit a ton of stuff. And I'm putting up my makeup collection today, so if you want to see my makeup collection, it is up, and I'll link that down below. Also, I have to upload my vlog. Okay, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go and upload things. Okay, bye. Hello. Um, so I am just going out and getting ready to go to the grocery store and I'm going to get some gas and then today I'm making lasagna and I'm super excited. Hopefully I'll actually be able to walk you through it because I'm really good lasagna. Um, so I didn't go to class today. It's Thursday. I guess I should specify what day it is, but that's because my class was canceled, so I didn't have to. Okay. I am going to go to the grocery store. I might get a booster juice or something. And then I'm also going to be filming today. I did a bunch of reading. I got home at like 11 and I did a bunch of reading and I got some McDonald's breakfast because I'm healthy as fuck. And uh, then I pretty much prepared for a bunch of videos and I'm going to go to the grocery store, get a bunch of shit done. Today has been very, very productive so far and I'm very proud. Okay, that's it. Maybe I'll get Starbucks instead. Yeah, I need one of those uh, lime things. I have really sensitive eyes. I get questions like that sometimes. Like, why do you always wear sunglasses? Like, even if it's sort of dusk outside, if there's any sort of sunlight, sorry, that's not my face. <laughs> if there's any sunlight at all, like my eyes just get all sensitive. So I have to wear sunglasses when I drive. Um, the answers to the important questions. I'm gonna go now, okay. Okay, I figured a grocery haul would be kind of fun. This stuff is so dark, okay. So I'm making lasagna from scratch. Can you see any of this? I'm sorry the lighting sucks, but I got some stuff for lasagna and then some stuff for snacks. So we make bun -wages, which are like bun sandwiches. This isn't a new concept. And this is for the lasagna. I got some mangoes, kiwis, bananas, strawberries. This is for the uh, uh, lasagna. It's just pasta sauce. Um, I got some of this cheese, which is so, so, so good. Got this in California the first time I went with Tom and it's great with crackers. So I got two things of crackers, got some sandwich meat, got some more of these um, oven ready things and some ricotta cheese. So I'm gonna put this away, go film, and then I'll kind of walk you through what I do for the lasagna. Cause I kind of follow a recipe, but I kind of go off on my own and just add a bunch of weird shit. So you'll see how it goes. Okay, so step one, I'm frying up some zucchini, tomatoes, and onions. This is just going to be kind of one of the layers that I add in. I do this first because then it can cool down since it's going to be baking anyways, and also because it's only 5 o'clock. Okay, we skipped forward a couple steps. So this is a mixture of an egg, like a cup or so of ricotta cheese, just like a couple handfuls of uh, matzo cheese and some parmesan. And then we did up some ground beef and some tomato sauce, whatever, just season your meat. Now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of a layer of some tomato sauce just to keep the moisture down here. So the first layer of noodles has something to absorb. And then I'm going to do noodles and probably meat, cheese, and then I'll just layer some of this sporadically. And then with every layer, I'm going to put on some cheddar matzo cheese, like a mix because I like cheese. And then we'll see how this looks afterwards. Um, one thing though, is that this mixture is very, um, it's kind of flavorless. So I add a little bit of salt, um, or you can add some seasonings or some cheddar cheese really helps as well. Hi, I'm laying by the fire. You should just trust that the lasagna turned out good because I forgot to vlog it. Although if you're using pre-cooked noodles, then leave them in for longer or put them in a little bit of water because they were kind of hard. I don't know what lighting this is. <sighs> I have to go upstairs and edit. And then I also have like 50 shows that I need to watch, which I know my life is hard, but I like it. I like it, it's fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, this is better lighting. I should have just done this the whole time. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm lying on the ground by the fire, wrapped up in a blanket and um i'm watching chicago pd because it's a good show chicago fire is better though because i love uh that australian guy from house he's very cute okay i'm gonna go 
and finish this TV show, I just figured I should explain why you don't actually get to see the lasagna, which was fairly good. I was impressed. Better than last time, minus the hard top noodle shell, which we'll work on next time. So I was about to leave for school and then I go outside and there's this huge fucking box out there and I am going to be doing some videos for Bert's Bees and like this huge box they got me flowers it was the nicest thing so thank you so much they're so pretty and they're like fancy too they got like the water things on the bottom and okay I think most girls kind of walk past those flower shops and they're like maybe I'll just get myself some because I should treat myself and now I don't have to because I was actually thinking about getting myself some flowers I wanted to like spruce up my room so now I have to go to class, so I'm just gonna leave them on the kitchen counter for now. Look at how pretty they are. There were actually so many, I had to put some back there too. But <laughs> I feel spoiled, it's nice, thank you. Um, but yeah, my room's gonna be all pretty now. I love drying out flowers too, like after they're like dead, you just hang them upside down and dry them. They look so fucking good when they're just like dried out in a vase. Okay, I'm gonna go to class now. Thank God it's Friday! It seems I have a real problem with brushing my hair. Um, today is Saturday, yesterday was Friday, that is how the week works, and I went and saw Dracula with some people. So I watched Jeremy John's reviews, and usually him and I are like, are like this. Same sort of viewpoint on movies, so I went into this like, not expecting much, it's gonna be shitty, but I went because I'm not gonna be that person where it's like, I heard that it's actually really bad, you know, because that's annoying to be around. So <laughs> uh, we went, and it was actually really good, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, Storyline was kind of like, there were definite holes in it, like, um, when the one guy who sires him feels that he sires someone else, then he gets to live in, like, human form out of the darkness. And it's like, that's not what happened to this guy. And I don't know. But, yeah, so that, that there's some plot holes. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I just didn't get it. Maybe it's too advanced for me. But, uh, yeah, so that happened. And then, you know, I'm doing some school. And it's like 6.50 at night, and then I'm gonna go over and drink a little bit later tonight at like 9. And tomorrow I might be going to West Ed, and if I ever go to West Ed, I will tweet it out, and if you guys are ever in the area, come and say hi if you see me, um, because that's my favorite thing. And I also got another tweet this week where it's like, I saw you at school and I didn't say hi because you looked like you were mad, and I was like still just my face so if you see me anywhere no matter what i'm doing unless i'm like sitting there crying come up to me because i swear to god it's just my face i don't mean to look like a bitch i just do so <laughs> i won't like rip your head off just come say hi hello it is sunday night yes it is still sunday i had to <laughs> double check um i'm just editing the vlog right now and i realized that the last clip was from yesterday and um i did go to west ed today and I bought some stuff, and I met a viewer, so thank you for saying hi in Stitches. That was really nice to meet you. Um, and what else? What else happened? I came home. I ate. We went to Moxie's, which was really good. Um, I don't like vlogging around people who aren't, like, I don't know, in the YouTube space. Like, I'll vlog around Bronwyn or Taylor because they get it. Or I'll vlog around Jess because I can force her into things. But, because I'm a good friend. But... When it's like new people or people who don't get the YouTube thing, I just I don't want to vlog, so I didn't. But I am going to go to bed. Actually, I'm going to import this clip, upload, take a pee, and go to bed. And then um, I don't think I'm going to class tomorrow because I have got a bunch of writing to do. I want to get some of my notes in order because my second round of midterms comes up in two weeks. And yeah, I'm just looking at my to-do list and I've got a couple chapters of stuff and I want to film some videos tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be kind of like my prep and get stuff done just for the upcoming sort of weeks. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching this week. Let me know how your week is gone. And um, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. I don't know how exciting this next week's going to be. Um, I don't really have any plans, so we'll just play it by year. And okay, that's it. Okay, bye.